Um, something to make note of is on this property. With the way this land is, you have a buy right um, conversion to a two family and, and if, at a later date. You can't legally do a two family now, but he has buy right. It's it's stupid how it works out, but they can convert it to a two family five years from now if that makes any sense. It's good a season. But this home is being built sim similarly to a two family, but it won't be. So if you take a look here, um That right here, see that? That's a demise wall in between the two sides. It shows a door, right? Um, it shows a door right there. There will be an opening. But for the most part, this whole side on the first floor is an apartment. So that's going to have to have its own its own you know assembly and me where I was at um, on that and I'm, I'm sure you'll figure out a, a good solution on what you want to do there whether it's duct underneath or if we figure out a way to oh, excuse me figure out a way to do it with two heads um, even, uh, a cassette with a knockout or, but just some thoughts. So that's going to have to be its own independent system. And then, uh, oh, I didn't get out of the, the, the pencil mode there. It's pretty, it's a big house. Um, and looking over here, um, the framing, um, of the first floor, second floor framing, which is the ceiling framing. Um, on this side over here, okay, <coughs> uh, the framing for the ceiling over here runs forward to back. I don't know if there's a way to do three heads on the first floor and or we have access to duct underneath if you'd like. There's an unfinished basement uh, and there's plenty of ceiling height. Um, right, you have your living room area here. There's like living room, the dining room, kitchen. And then, you know, this is kind of the tough space here. Like, I can put... Uh, electric toe kick in there to deal with that. Um, it's just how you condition the flex room over here, which is this flex room in this hallway kind of deal. It's just wonky. This, the front door comes in here. This is all like, I'll clean that up a little bit. So if you're on the first floor, you can see it a little bit. Um, oh, it's in my mind, like thinking, oh, is there a, you know, a console over here? And then you got the kitchen in here. Um, try to stick a. A head in over here, or like you say, we could do an uh, airhead underneath, do the whole thing. Um, and 
We don't really have to worry about too much stuff, but um, just some thoughts. Right. Go back up to the top here. Second floor. So let's go over to the first floor now. See how it shows this shaded area? Look at this thing, the whole second floor um, is for the primary resident. That shading area over here, that's the demise. So, um, let me check it out here, you got. You have your primary, right? Well, we're not calling it master anymore. Master, master. Um, and there's attic space. Ooh, excuse me, upstairs. Um, and it's all open. It's no plans of anything getting finished or anything like that. Um, I was in the camp. You could probably do a um, cassette in the bedroom. I, t I tell you, we love, we love our cassette. Uh, there's a big room. Or you could put a console in there. Or just a regular head. Um, yeah, I was in the camp, the condensers. We're going to have to go around this area. And obviously, you know, hopefully there's, there's a smaller one um, with two heads on this side. And the question is, is can we get the rest of the house on one? I, I probably... Yeah, probably not. I don't. I don't know. You know, I can see three units, three three units out there. You get thirty um, five hundred square feet total of this thing. So, um, the only thing is how we can cut it up, which I know you'll you'll figure out a good solution. I'm sure. Um, You know, it's, um, if you had a cassette in here, but this is the thing, we can always just do a kick heater uh, in the master. And you start dealing with the bedrooms. Or you could, let's see here. Yeah. I can get all these bedrooms here to take care of. I can do a kick eater in here. We got one, two, three bedrooms. That's a lot. Um, so, uh, Bob, get your hands full, I believe, on this one. Um, just some food for thought, too, is we propose to the, the homeowner, um, we're putting a chase in there. So future service and accessibility between the, um, just so that the house has, um, some resiliency as it ages, you're not just, you know, you got, you can do some things and not, um, be overrun there. But, yeah, so you're gonna deal with the apartment. It's a little apartment. So basically you got an apartment that, you know, what is that thing? 20, 30 by 24, so you have a 700 square feet for that, and then the other one's 2,800 square, you know. Um, so, let's check out the, the framing plan for the second floor. Second floor ceiling. Just so you see that. And that is pretty cut and dry there. Mm. Yeah, pretty cut and dry on that. 
Um, I wish the whole house was framed like that. That second floor ceiling plan. First floor framing plan. And we just, just got that one beam there, right? That that chops that that up, that load, that point load. Um, uh, that's nice. Easy. One beam. Boom. Another beam. Boom. Uh, I actually had to delete this wall here. Um, see that? That wall's gone. It's all continuous in the basement. Um, we had some issues when we were dig digging down here. So we got rid of the old building. The old building was right around here. It was in this area. And I, we pulled up the the slab when we were demoing it and it was all trash under there. They dumped all the trash. They dumped all the, they dug a hole. They had trash all there. So we had to go down another, another couple of feet. So we just gave them a full basement. Um, so that was a solution for, so we didn't have, excuse me, so we didn't have any change orders. So, all right. Any questions or comments, just let me know. All right, Bob, thanks.